My name is uh, Russell Peters. I'm playing Constable Fourth Class Doug DeMello on The Indian Detective. Doug is a Canadian-born Toronto police officer who is not good at his job. He's become the running joke of the department. Come on, guys, let's give him a round of applause. That's, that's it. He gets reprimanded, put on leave. DeMello, in my office. His partner, Robin, who he's kind of had a crush on for a long time now, but has never really mixed business with pleasure. Beer me. Robin is dating another cop in the station named Rocco Farinelli. He's good looking, he's tall, he's thin, he's everything I'm not really. But I've got personality. And I learned that in real life from not being tall or thin or good looking. So I worked on my inside skills. When Doug gets his time off, he gets a call from India from his father who senses that his son needs his father. And he sort of tricks Doug into coming to visit him. When Doug gets to India, very reluctantly he goes. That's where he meets a very beautiful girl, and Doug is thoroughly enamored with her. And as soon as you see the girl, you too will be thoroughly enamored with her. And I have to find myself on set, stop looking at her because she's very attractive. Throughout the whole story, I think Doug just wants to impress Priya no matter what. He just falls in love with her so deeply and he just wants her to fall in love with him. I wanted to know if you could question him for me. Me. I know it's a lot to ask, but since you're an experienced detective... Whether it's lying about a few things or doing the right thing or not, but his end goal is for them to end up together. Cheers. I'm caught not even between two romances, I'm caught between two sets of feelings about romance. I haven't actually secured either romance. It's almost like being a stalker. I like her, but I like her. I don't know which one I like. I like them both. I'm gonna follow them both. I think that when he gets to India, Doug's inner detective comes out because he doesn't have the baggage of people knowing the mess ups he did in Toronto. His approach to policing is off the beaten track. Maybe I somewhat think like a criminal, which is why I always end up on the wrong side of the law in the show. Do detectives from Toronto always play such tricks with the law? <laughs> There's a lot of Russell in, in Doug. Although we have a strong script, we're trying to capture some of that ability for him to improvise. Good job, <laughs> partner. <laughs> Being nice. High five? Going for a high five, you friggin' idiot? It's not autobiographical at all, but his personality is similar to a certain extent. The funny that Doug is, is the awkwardness. I try to avoid the awkward situation, and when it arises, I just kinda very loosely make light of it. Very handsome man. Very funny man. Uh, that's always pleasant, because uh, shooting a series, you do the same thing uh, fairly often, and unless you add freshness to it, it uh, it can become tiresome. I'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> He's always adding something to it, which is amusing. I think Doug feels pulled between two cultures because of his father, who is just so grounded and so deeply rooted within the Indian culture. That's how he was raised, but he fights so hard to deny that. I always say people are uh, racially one thing and ethnic culturally another thing. Racially, I'm an Indian man. Culturally, very North American. So that should help people identify what they are. There's nothing wrong with being two things. You don't have to be nailed down to one thing anymore. <laughs>